Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Blackboard Learn. Today we're going to take a look at how you can toggle the availability of a single item within Blackboard. You'll have granular control over the availability of certain items. So today I just wanted to show you a few of the items that you can toggle on or off within Blackboard and give you an idea what it might look like from a student perspective versus an instructor perspective. The first step is to ensure that your edit mode is turned on. When your edit mode is on, you'll be able to go ahead and toggle availability of certain items. For example, if we want to take course documents and hide that item from the course menu, highlighting it will give you two different icons, one on the left and one on the right. If you click the drop down arrow, you can go right to hide link. Now it's going to give you this little box with a slash through it. It's going to give you the idea that it has been hidden. If I go ahead and turn my edit mode off, you get an approximation as to what the students would see on their end. No course documents. I'll go ahead and turn my edit mode right back on. Let's say we didn't really want to turn course documents off completely, so I'll go ahead and highlight, hit the drop down arrow, and hit show link. Once I do that, that's removed. This time I'm going to go into course documents and toggle the visibility of a single item. Now I've already put in a document in here and what I can do is highlight the document, hit the drop down arrow, and click edit. This is going to bring me into the edit item mode and I can scroll down and look at all the different things I can edit but really what we want to take a look at is category 3 here options. By default users are permitted to view this content. You can select no and hit submit. It's going to let you know that the availability of the item is not available. So to test it out, you can turn your edit mode off, and in course documents it shows that it's empty from the student approximation view. I'll go ahead and turn edit mode back on. And one other thing I wanted to show you, when I click on this drop down arrow and click edit, you can permit the users to view the content, but you can set a date and time range as to when that item is actually available. So you'll notice that in most items within Blackboard, they're going to give you these two options, a display after and a display until. So by clicking on the checkboxes, you'll have the ability to go into a calendar, select which days and which times an item should be available, and when they should turn off. So you will have to make sure that the user's content is permitted to be viewed, but the date range and time restrictions will toggle when it turns on and when it turns off. Since this one is not available at this time, it's going to let you know when it will be available and what time. 